until Google offers a complete backup system for Android, a lot of us has re have resorted to using a custom recovery like TWRP in order to create a full Nandroid backup of our phones and tablets. Since I recently showed you how to install TWRP on the OnePlus 5, today I'm going to show you how to create your first Nandroid backup that will make a complete backup of all of your data, applications, application data, and system configurations on your device. So naturally you're going to need to have TWRP installed on your OnePlus 5. And if you haven't done that already, you're going to need to do things like unlock the bootloader, install TWRP, and even install root access so that TWRP will actually stick and not be replaced. If you need help of doing any of that, be sure to check the full tutorial as I'll have links that walk you through the step-by-step -step process for all of that. So once you're ready, we're going to boot into our recovery mode, which will be TWRP as shown. And we're just going to simply tap on the backup button right there. The first thing we're going to focus on is the partitions that we can back up. So if you want to create a full backup, including our modem, our EFS data, this excludes our storage. So this is like system data, our system images, recovery cache, and the boot partitions. Just go ahead and go through and make sure there's a check mark on all of those partitions. And then the next thing I suggest you do is name the backup because in two weeks or a month or two you will not know what state your device is in. So whether you're running stock, whether it has root access, or maybe you're running a custom ROM like Lineage OS then you can just name it Lineage OS. And I also like to append the date just to keep things organized. Once you have a date, just tap the blue checkbox. You have some f another few options we can do. We can enable compression if you'd like. You can add an encryption password. And you can even select the storage whether that's an OTG device or just the internal storage. Once you have all your stuff set up, just go ahead and swipe the white arrows to the right to begin the backup process. And depending on how much data you have on your device, like how many applications and games and videos and pictures that you have on your device, this backup will be bigger or smaller than mine. And that also means that the time it takes to perform the backup might be longer or less than mine. So I don't have that much stuff installed on my OnePlus 5, so my backup is only 8 gigabytes. And it's only going to take a minute or two in order to complete this process. We can see exactly what it's doing as it's doing the backup. So first we went, it went and cr uh, backed up the boot partition. Then it backed up the cache partition. Then recovery. Then the system and the system image, which were both big ones. Now it is backing up our data partition which again excludes our internal storage. So backups 
of data do not include any files that have been placed in the internal storage. That's your internal SD card where you download stuff from Chrome or any other application. You will need to back up that data manually by connecting the device to the PC with USB cable. So once this process is done, you'll be told that the backup is complete. And if you want, you can just tap on the reboot system button. That will restart our OnePlus 5 and take us right back in to the regular Android operating system. So that is the process of how to create a Nandroid backup from within TWRP on the OnePlus 5.